Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Sunday, May 30th, and it's 727 p.m. Sounds like an airplane. Let's get on and go up. How about that? Well, this is my latest shirt, and I really wasn't sure what I was going to put on it. But I was putting these flowers, you know, and this one kind of turned into something that looked like a, you know what? And it... <laughs> So I played with it some more, and then the more I played with it, the more it looked like it. So I said, well, these people need to start doing their own research. So, I mean, that had just come up, in it, like, because of a conversation. So I put that on here, and I don't know if it will help anybody here, but we're going to start getting to go to Walmart if we don't go to heaven, go outside of time, and come back and be come the harvest army well i wanted to share with you i think i might have showed you a picture as it was in progress right over my head i'm sitting somewhere else because of the bright bright sun and i found these uh, this is a clock i made with i think they're 16 by 20 canvases and the lettering above you should be able to read it it's backwards to me I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I found that on Amazon for $9.99. And that touched it off just perfectly. And the little uh, sconces up here, here, over here and here. We found those for a dollar each at two different yard sales. Can you believe it? They're, they don't match, but they're close enough. And then I found those candles. We burned them when we, I was somewhere I could burn them. Long time ago. Cleaned them up. And when I was putting this all together, I painted them to match the uh, artwork. So anyway, that's something I've been working on for a few months. And I wanted to make it where I could sit over here. And just have you see that, but I don't know how I would do it. So anyway, I'm just going to sit here and get going with what I was going to do. All right. This has some awesome messages in it. The letter from Dawn. Sundays are always the best. The first one is The Trumpet by Bill Burns. I speak a word of encouragement to you, my children. Do you not know that I see your trials? This couldn't have come at a better time, y'all. I'm telling you what. Okay, I'm sorry. I interrupted. Do you not know that I see your struggles? I have seen you in those trials and tribulations. And I am increasing your strength and power in these days. I am giving you an anointing, the anointing of breakthrough. I will come and deliver you and bring you to victory. I always bring you to a place of triumph. Lift up the hands that hang down and strengthen your feeble knees gird yourself for battle put on your armor and go forth for the battle is mine and I will surely bring victory if you will but believe Arise and strengthen yourself in me, then I shall undertake on your behalf. I will rout the enemy, even as I have from days of old. You will gain the victory, says the Lord, only believe. All right, the next one is a very short word given to Marsha Burns. Exercise caution when you enter 
unfamiliar or unchartered territory. You have not been this way before, and things may not be what you envisioned or expected. Now, clearly, this is not for everybody. I don't expect to be going anywhere that I've never been before. But someone is. Some people are. Be ready to change direction and always be sensitive to my leading. Okay, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. The verse put with it is Isaiah 58, 11. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. Wow, that verse sounds like it should go with the first one. That is almost unbelievable. The Lord works in such mysterious ways. This one is from a person who doesn't normally submit to Dawn's letters. Her name is Barbara Songer Johnson. Now, I don't remember the name, but I mean, it sounds familiar. Like I might have seen a video, you know, with her name in it, but I don't remember watching it, that kind of thing. It's called Trust, Believe, and Love. Now, didn't that one say only believe? Okay, well, this one is saying for you to trust, believe, and love. And it was put up May 25th. And let's see, the date of this whole thing is May 30th. So this was given to her on May 25th. And I got this May 30th. Okay. Now, it starts out, My daughter, write, these, write my words for those with ears to hear. Let me check my position. Okay, I guess that's good. Okay. Write my words for those with ears to hear. Many try to determine what it is that I will do. They predict me when I cannot be predicted. If my children knew my plan to a T, the enemy would know my plan to a T. What I ask my children is to be completely satisfied in trust. I ask my children to trust me. Trust my plans. Trust my perfect ways. You speculate in vain, my children. For the minds of mere man cannot fathom the ways in which I will present my great harvests for reaping. Man cannot determine the hows of my ways. I'm a supernatural creator with supernatural plans. I will gather my children, including the ones you perceive to be far away from me, as the progression of my perfect plan unfolds. Do not worry about the lost remaining lost, for I have a plan to bring each heart front and center. They will see their choice must be made. They will have, so 
pause a minute so everybody will have an opportunity to meet the Lord and have to make a choice. I don't know how that's going to work out. Like he said, we cannot predict it. Moving on. Next paragraph. There will no longer be the option to waffle. Those lukewarm will become hot, and those empty of me right now will be coming to a time where their choice will be black and white. There will be nothing ambiguous, nothing left to chance. The choice will be forced, and yes, some will be suffering greatly beforehand. Let me read that again. The choice will be forced. Okay, the choice. Yeah, it's like you've got to cho choose now. You want me, you're on my side, you're with me, or no, you're going to still serve Satan. You're going to continue to go on be with him. That's the choice will be forced. And yes, some will be suffering greatly beforehand. My hand will shake your earth. Not only a physical shaking, but you will see great shakings in the time, in the lives, excuse me, in the lives of those that still partake in worldly ways and for those that remain in darkness. The enemy has presented himself and they've ignorantly fallen into his trap and are blindly stumbling along. When sudden destruction is upon them, their ignorance will no longer be bliss. You will see multitudes choose me moments before peril. This is not meant to bring fear to those that know me, but comfort for my plan will ultimately bring as many of my creation into reconciliation with me as will be possible. For once the enemy is exposed, eyes and hearts will be opened and my light will shine into the darkest of hearts. Be sure, be patient, and trust. The enemy wishes for you to be walking in fear and expecting the worst for the lost around you. I assure you, my loves, I am prepared to do battle for souls, as is my great army. That's the Harvest Army coming back after we leave. And I will not leave a heart of stone unturned. Trust, believe, and love. I love you, my children. Yahshua HaMashiach. Okay, as I was reading this again, and I want to bring this up to you. I mean, I could choose to not put it up. I'm not sure if I put it in a video or a comment earlier. Oh, it might have been an email. How I wish that those of us who believe the you-know-what is the mark of the, the son of perdition. How I wish we were wrong. 
I don't know how we could be when so, so many have heard from the Lord about it and felt in their spirit that it was. If this is for, truly from the Lord, and I've read others that I chose to not put up because they were just so... I mean, it was like, it isn't even going on. It wasn't even mentioned. And here, this is similar. I'd like to know your, let's all take this to the Lord in prayer. If you're a prayer warrior and you have not if you have already heard from the lord can you somehow word it and put it in the comments of what he told you about the the gene therapy jab we'll call it that because this sounds to me like those who have fallen into his trap, this last paragraph, the enemy has presented himself and they've ignorantly fallen into his trap and are blindly stumbling along. When sudden destruction is upon them, their ignorance will no longer be bliss. You see? Right now, they're ignorant of what it is, and they're just blissfully thinking they're going to get the benefits of it. That's the way I see it. Tell me if you see it some other way. You will see multitudes choose me moments before peril. This is not meant to bring fear to those that know me, but comfort for my plan will ultimately bring as many, but oh, fear to those that know me, but comfort. And then there's a dash. For my plan will ultimately bring as many of my creation into reconciliation with me as will be possible. For once the enemy is exposed, eyes and hearts will be opened and my light will shine into the darkest of hearts. But their DNA is already changed. So are we just looking at a false prophet here? A candy-coated message? People need to be exposed. If that's what this is, this is one more we need to know to not listen to. Rather than just not share it and not say anything. It's time to be exposing the ones who are not saying it's the you-know-what. I watched a video, or, or maybe it was in the email. Gwendolyn Song got a message from the Lord, and he said, if a car were the jab or the mark, whatever, the V would be the engine, like a part of it. So what does that mean? What does that mean? It's okay to take a part of it. I'm probably as dark as can be. I'm sitting here in the dark now. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put this up, and I want to hear y'all's opinion. Those of you with gifts of discernment, you pray and you feel you get something from the Lord, 
you get a scripture, please share it with us because we all need to know this is the most important decision that anybody can make in their whole life in this day and age. All right? I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. I'm good. I'm not in the dark. Not yet. So it'll go up and stay up. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us, our devices, and all of our internet connections. And with hi little Jasper, he's got his head stuck around the corner here. Let's see if I can show him. Can everybody see Jasper? <laughs> Are you camera shy? I don't know if he got on or not. I'll find out. Anyway, for each and every one of us in our devices. And with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.